Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera, and today we are doing something a little bit different. Neely of Indigo Neely invited a few YouTubers to collaborate in an Instant Pot virtual holiday potluck where each of us will share an Instant Pot recipe in a playlist and a link to that playlist will be put in the description below. There are so many great food YouTubers out there that I am really happy to be a part of this collaboration. So let's get started. We are making a super simple Asian braised short rib using a, a sauce that I'm gonna make from scratch and using the Instant Pot, of course. I am starting off with a, I wanna say a thumb size <laughs> piece of ginger, but it's not thumb size. Dude wanted me to show you exactly how much it weighs. So I have my scale out and I bet you it's about an ounce. Ta-da! Just over an ounce. You never believe me, I don't know why. Nothing to say, dude? Just scraping off the skin of the ginger and I'm using the back of a knife and it scrapes off super easy if you just, and you don't have to use the sharp side. You can also use a spoon, just something with a blunt end. I'm gonna start off with half a cup of soy. I'm kind of eyeballing, but not really because there is a half cup mark here. Quarter cup water. Okay, cut my ginger in half. I'm just gonna chuck that in there. I am cutting up an onion. You know, there's uh, not that many ingredients there. I don't, you know, this is a really simple recipe. I can't stress that enough. And I really do enjoy bringing you very simple recipes using just ordinary ingredients where you can get a lot of flavor and a very delicious meal. So that's what I'm aiming for these days. Keeping it simple. Well, oh, you're not even gonna slice it up, okay. No, because it's all gonna be blitzed anyways. That's why I pulled out the Vitamix because my hand blender doesn't do as great a job as the Vitamix. It's great for some projects, but not everything. Okay, I'm gonna put in my quarter cup of sugar so that I can bash my garlic cloves. Wow, multitasking. <laughs> so three cloves of garlic, two teaspoons of sesame oil, And that's it for the sauce. I'm gonna stir in about, uh, I wanna say half a teaspoon of chili flakes. So I'm not blending it, I'm just gonna stir it in. That's it. That's my sauce. And I'm gonna brown up my ribs. Compressed saute, adjusting it to high heat. I'm gonna wait for that to heat up. If I were to do this again, I would heat up my Instant Pot first while I got the sauce ready. But because of my little set here, <laughs> there wasn't enough room to do all that. So, if you're doing this at home, put your Instant Pot on, then get your sauce made, and that will save you some time. Hey, those short rib pieces look like uh, Minecraft meat <laughs> cubes. Cubes. I got these at the Korean market, so they're cut pretty evenly, no matter where that bone is. But I think if you went to a regular butcher, the butcher will cut through and keep the bone intact, whereas I find all Asian markets or butchers just cut wherever. <laughs> but they are evenly sized. Are you saying that Asian butchers are not regular? <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. If I, if I said that, I didn't mean it. I have three pounds of short rib. And I'm just going to season it 
with about one to two teaspoons of salt. And adding about a tablespoon of olive oil. It's hot. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to cook six pieces at a time. You don't want to overcrowd them because you want them to brown and not steam. And I'm going to do them in two batches and I'm just going to brown them on two sides. So about four to five minutes on each side. So it's been four minutes. I'm going to flip them over. Even with tongs, I'm not so good. Oh my goodness. Now, if you're in a hurry, you don't have to do this part, but I like to brown them to add a little bit more flavor. I'm just gonna remove these from the pot and get the other half going. Move the oil around a little bit. Oh, I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. I've got all this oil splatter everywhere. So my three pounds was able to get 12 pieces of short rib. I don't know, whoa, I don't know how much you'll be able to get from your butcher. I'm just gonna add about a quarter cup of water to scrape up the brown bits at the bottom of the pot. You do want it to be clean at the bottom because otherwise the Instant Pot will freak out and give you an overheat or burn message. You don't want that. But this is where all the flavor is also. So you want to keep this. I'm going to turn off the saute mode. Just make sure all the bits are taken care of. I'm going to add the pieces back in. I get them all in one layer. Whatever juices are remaining in your bowl, you pour that in as well. And pour the sauce kind of evenly over all the pieces. All right. It smells so good. I wish you can smell it. Locking into place, ceiling knob on ceiling, and we're going to Cook it for, I'm gonna say 35 minutes on high pressure. And that is it. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It does. So the braising liquid is quite thin. So I'm gonna thicken it up with a cornstarch slurry. Just going to remove the meat on a plate. And look at all the bones that have fallen off. So this is what happens when <laughs> the meat is cut up all weird. You know what, bone in short rib is much tastier than without the bone. And I often buy the boneless ones because that's what is easily accessible from Costco. But I always find bone in short ribs way tastier. Just gonna go saute, adjust it to less. We just want it to heat up again a little bit. And I've got uh, approximately one and a half tablespoons to two tablespoons of cornstarch here. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of water. And you always have to dissolve cornstarch in cold water, otherwise it won't dissolve. Just make this slurry, wait for it to heat up a little bit. There's a bit of fat in there. If you want, you can skim it out. I'm just gonna leave it. So I'm in a bit of a hurry now. We've got kids have activities tonight. I'm trying to get dinner on the table. And if you didn't know it, this isn't just a test kitchen when we shoot 
for the recipe videos. It's actually real life. So <laughs> if flow fails, we starve. <laughs> and then there's no video this week. No, that never happens. I might fail, but I try to fix it in the end. All right, it's just starting to simmer. So I'm gonna add my slurry now and stir that in. And we'll let that simmer until it thickens. And we're gonna pour it over our short ribs. So we were talking about potluck, that this would be a great dish to bring to potluck because it's, well, it's delicious for one thing, but everyone can have a piece of meat. Just curious as to what everyone else usually brings to a potluck when asked to go. So you can leave that in the comments below and let me know what your favorite thing is to bring. All right, do you see how that's thickened? And we're just gonna cancel this and we're gonna spoon it over the short ribs. You can also put the gravy into a gravy bowl or whatever to serve on the side. I also have some chopped cilantro that I'm just gonna use for garnish, but it also adds a freshness to it, which I love. If you don't like cilantro, don't even bother. You can always chop up some green onions instead to add some color. But otherwise, I know you all are waiting for I think they really need to invent smell-o-vision. All right, the taste. Let's get to that meat. It's so disappointing to see that the Minecraft cubes of meat have been reduced to, well, meat and bones separately. Well, if I picked up the short ribs that have the meat all the way around each piece of bone, mm -hmm. this would not have happened. Well, you know what, I'm not gonna even use a uh, a knife? Do you think I can get through this? Maybe if you put it down on the table. All right, let's do that. Whoa. That's some good marbling in that short rib. Looking good. Oh, it's not too spicy. All I see is like the little orange. Oh, really? The... That should be all right. Should be all right. Can we, should we do this? Yeah. Can you get that? The beef itself, very tender. Those chili flakes, they didn't come into play at all in terms of the spiciness. But all together, when you get that uh, rolling that beef around and getting that mouthfeel of the nice tender beef and the flavors, it's really good. It's subtle, but yet complex. So as always, we have gravy. It's gonna dish it up over the, the rice. It's gonna be delish and with the leafy Chinese veg. You think it's simple, but it's so good, so good. All right, that was like the fastest taste ever. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. I just wanna thank Neely for inviting me to her potluck. And I hope that you all will check out the other recipes in the playlist. The link is in the description below. And remember to let me know what you would bring to your potluck. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful.